Hello and welcome, I am the Restless Kaiser, and I am over here. And I'm Woolly Mike, and I am over here. But together we are a modeling for advantage. Whoop whoop. Boosh. Well, Mike, first game of bolt action on camera, and, and something unlike what, the third, fourth, fifth game you've ever played? Uh, yes, fifth game. The fifth game you've ever yep. played. Okay. But you've got the dirty green dice, so you're hoping to win today. I've got the dirty green dice and I've got the good right. old British Paras. Uh, Johnny B's not with us today, uh, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do the close cam myself. Kaiser so cam. Let's, let's have a look at the forces before we go into the mission details. Skidoosh! So here are the German forces. I have got eight dice going in the bag, which is one, two, three, four Falchi Mega sections, a medium mortar, of course, a HQ team with assault rifles, a medium machine gun, and the two, three, four armored car, the yep. Puma, basically. My Falchi Mega rifle sections are two with rifles and an LMG, one with assault rifles, and another one with all SMGs. Boom. Oh, I don't imagine you want to tell these bad boys at home what it is you've got here. British paratroopers. British paratroopers. We have my command squash section. Oh, and he's got an umbrella, sir. Battle umbrella. Yep. Very nice. Spe that... Special character, but he's just playing an ordinary second lieutenant today. Second lieutenant, because he's a Britisher. Yes, yep. very nice. Forward observer. Very cool. Free. Free. Five man rifle section with a Bren gun. Very nice. Five man rifle section with a Bren gun. A third five man rifle section with a Bren gun. Five man rifle section. A Piet anti tank team. Medium mortar with spotter. What am I seeing here? Six pounder anti tank gun. That's going to make a mess of my And a medium machine gun. Very nice. And and the cows, are they part of your force composition? Oh, they are. They're, they're my camouflaged um, commandos. Moo! <laughs> camouflage <laughs> commandos! So we'll have a bit of a cut here and we'll come back and explain the mission that we're playing and look at the starting deployment. We're using these markers to denote units because we've got hidden deployment here. We are playing the scenario surrounded, which means the British Paras have all deployed in the middle. There's a famous quote, isn't there, Mike? How does it go? We're Paras. We're meant to be surrounded. There you go. Allegedly, that's what uh, Major Winter said at Baston. So this unit here, we have got... A, an NCO, a Bren gun team, and two riflemen. Cool. And this five-man squad? Same again. NCO, two rifles, Bren gun squad. Uh, this cheeky little chappy down That's here. That's my mortar spotter. Your mortar spotter. Yep. I'm recognising that as a six pounder, sir. Yes. And his rear's covered by the medium machine gun. Is that is that the Vickers water cooled? It is the Vickers water cooled. Beautiful. And, and here, my medium mortar. Taking advantage of all the hardcover hard on the table. Excellent. So that's our deployment. In this mission, half of the German forces are in first wave, and then in both cases, the other half of our armies are off the table. You'll see the German units as they come in from first wave. So let's have a look at round one. Boom. Here we are. Uh, so you're gonna endure a preparatory bombardment, sir? I am. Now, all of your units are hidden, but actually, that's irrelevant because this is an off-table bombardment. So for each of your units, you're going to roll a d6. And because I love you, Mike, I'm going to ask you to do it yourself while I look at the chart. Can I have your time? <laughs> <laughs> so if you point to a unit, roll the dice, and I'll tell you what the result is and throw some pins your way. All right? As it comes. Okay. Well, we'll start nearest to me then. Yeah. Cool. Three. That is one pin. Okay. Now... That is one pin. Whoops. If you're really good, I'll let you have your own pins later. Oh, you're your so own cool. Uh, the mortar. Was that a two? It was well, just a two. Looked like a two to me. Yeah. There you go, one pin. And the infantry squad nearest to yourself, that's a one. That's no effect. 
the infantry squad nearest you over the other side is a six. Is that a six? That's a six. Is I that a like... six? It takes two pin markers. It's not as bad as you think. And then it gets an a automatic hit with plus three penetration value. So that is going to kill you on... A two. Twos. Shall I do that one? Yep. Here we go. Hop. Boom. Two plus three is five. So there's a dead guy there. Can I kill my rifleman? I kill your rifleman, sir. Yeah. But you didn't have rifleman. And then now my spotter is part of my mortar. Team. Yeah, I don't think he's a separate unit for the purpose of this. Right. Okay. So, so if that's different viewers, you, you you tell us. I always find that the rules around spotters get a bit messy. There is a section. We've double checked a lot of the rules of spotters today. So we're now into turn one. The Germans are coming on in first wave with half of their units. I'll show you those units as they arrive. The British units are all hidden, which is why they've got those green markers, if we haven't mentioned that already. So do you want to start drawing some dice? Let's draw some dice. You've got ten in the bag, five off the table. And I've you've... got eight in the bag, four all eight off the table, but four yeah. arrivable this time. Yeah. Green dice. It's a Yankee Doodle Dandy. And, and there's nothing you can see. <laughs> I'm not going to see anything. So my peer team are going to go into hiding off the board. Well, they, to surprise They've you heard later. there's a lot of artillery coming down. Yeah. Which means the next dice is German. German. So I am going to run my mortar team on. Would you mind putting them in between the building and the road there <laughs> for me? Because we're both doing a bit, a bit of reach in here. Um, and then put him. Yeah, that's right. I have the spot having a bit of a peek out of the window there. He's gone up there. And they're going to reveal this unit, right? Because they're yep. in 12. They are. And that's them. They have done a run order. Run, 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 run. German. Hmm, that's more exciting. So now I am going to come on with an infantry team. And they're not going to run. Because they want to shoot. But what do they want to shoot? What do they want to shoot? What do they want to shoot, Michael? Pigeons. They want to shoot pigeons. Yes, so go back to Britain. Yes. Shoot pigeons. Yes. They, they fly as well as Paris. These are, so. these are, these are Germans. They're not yes. British. They don't they yeah. don't shoot pigeons. Uh, they're, 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 they're naturalists. Uh, or naturists. Or whichever one <laughs> is where you like the natural world rather than you hang out in the woods naked with your sister. <laughs> right, here we go. They're going to come here. They're here. These are not here, look, you see. These are... Oh, Falschirmjäger. These are Falschirmjäger. Absolutely. So we have got two rifles, three rifles, and an LMG. And that was an advance order. Because we've got something to shoot at, right? Three rifles, and the LMG gets four dice, but an extra one for the Hitler's buzzsaw rule. Before you roll, because I'm assuming you're targeting my mortar. I am. Are you going to elect to go down? I am, because so I'm looking not for sevens. There are no sixes there. Okay, that's us done. Daka, 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 daka. German again? Yes! Right. I think it'd really put the willies up you if I was to drive my armoured car on there, come up to the hedge and shoot you. But unfortunately, that's not part of my first wave, so I can't do that, <laughs> if anyone's wondering. <laughs> unfortunately, what is part of my first wave is my medium machine gun team, which is going to hobble on to here. I'll give you that. And that's got to be a run order as well, unfortunately. Uh, so I think under the circumstances, what it'll do is it'll come on this edge. Can it run to it? No, that's rough going. So it can't get there. I want to come on and get up here if I if I can. You know, so I'm up against the edge, but I've I'm hopefully got more things within 18, if that makes sense. Okay, that was a run order for them. Uh, not a run order, it was an advance order, but a run order, I think, is what you have to use to move heavy weapons. Yep. I'm not getting thrown because you can't run through difficult terrain. Yeah. 
but you can't move those things without a run order. But I don't think the intention is that they cannot move through difficult terrain. Yep. I think the intention is that they can't move six and shoot, is, yes. the, is, is, the, is the thing. I'm, I'm confused. Oh. They move or fire. So, yeah. And then the, the, the terrain adds an extra level to it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it me again? No, it's the British Paras. The parachute regiment, sir. And a target has popped up very nicely. No, 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 no. No, it hasn't. Oh, yeah, it has, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm being silly with you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yes. So, and John, gym... does that, John does that to me. Yeah. And, and, and it throws me completely. Yeah. So... A nice target has just popped up for my medium machine gun. It certainly has. Which so, is my medium machine gun. So I'm going to activate with one pin. Oh! Boom! Oh. I believe that's FUBAR! FUBAR, sir. We're not going to talk about what that means, but we're going to get the special chant. We don't use the FUBAR chant very often, but all of the results are good for me and not so good for you. So you failed your order check, not catastrophically, with the food bar chart, and you're going to roll d6. And there's a chart, sir. A chart? There is well, a chart. I have it here. No. Food bar chart. Green dice. We have a five, which is quite high on the chart, which I. Panic. This unit executes a run order and move, must move as fast as possible away from the closest visible enemy unit. If no enemy are visible, for no reason, it just goes down. So you've got to make a 12-inch cheese it move. But you're not going to be able to run over a hedge. So you're going to run into this corner. Or you can maybe 6-inch move that way. Because that's you, that's you trying to get away as much as possible from the nearest unit. If you prefer to do that. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Yeah. That goes with me. It does. That and it's a run order, goes, not a down order. Yes, I put a yeah. run order there, and that disappears. Pick us a good one. The Pop Americans. The Americans? Yes. They're I'll not play. playing. Yes. British turn. Britishers. So. So. I am going to activate the unit of five nearest to you. This is a uh, rifle, rifle team with a Bren. Yes. Okay. Uh, they have not got any pins, so they just activate. So, and they're going to fire at your rifle squad that came on over here. Okay. I've got a Bren gun. For four, four dice. dice. And let me check the range, because I reckon the Bren's not... I reckon the Bren's short and the rest are long. Yeah, the Bren's short and the rest are long. Now, my two riflemen yep. and my NCO all have rifles. Yes. I have the rapid fire rule, so... Ten rounds rapid, sir. Let them have it. I get a bonus dice. You do. So, you are... Shooting on threes, long range, four, hardcover, five, six, but the Bren's on fives. Yeah. Because it's not long range. So, Bren right. gun first of all. We that's have a hit. hit. So that's going to cause a pin and a potential kill. And how many hits from the rifles? So these are sixes. Whoops. Another hit. hit. So that's two wound rolls. My final stream is going to roll veteran, obviously. So five up to kill. Boom! Is it exceptional? Don't be doing this now. <laughs> oh! Hans is out. Hans is down, man. Yeah. So that was a fire order from here, so they also are no longer hidden. Yeah. The hidden rule, by the way, doubles the cover penalty. It's like minus four to hit them. Or something, if they're, as long as they're hidden. Ooh! So I've still got a unit remaining. A rifle team, and I think that they are going to come on and they're going to shoot these chaps in the open. I think that's what we'd like to do. But we could shoot these chaps in the open and they're already in trouble. That's a better idea, isn't it? It is. They are in the open. They are still hidden. They are still hidden, but not when I get within 12 of them. Yes. Oh, but I can't get within... Yes, I can. I can, because... I only have to move up to six inches, and they're at the outer edge. I was just thinking the measure of the mass doesn't work. It does. So I'm moving on with this rifle machine gun team here, which puts me within 12 of those, I'm sure. Yeah. So that reveals them. And then we're going to give them... We're going to give them some rifles, sir. We're going to give them a fusillade of three shots. 
And in this situation, because I really need them, I'm not going to go down. Are you not? You don't think they're all going to die if you don't go down? I, I'm, I got eight dice shooting them on fours. Yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And um, it's fours because it's threes, and I've moved. Yeah. All right. So that's six hits. And there's a three in there. Five, Five hits. hits. And that's why you remove the ones that are misses rather than pick yes. up the ones that are hits. Because any dispute yeah. is easily resolved. Yeah. Cool. So six hits. Five hits. <laughs> yeah. Fives to kill. Here we go. Hop. That is one kill, two kills. Is it exceptional? No. All right. And that was these chaps here with an advance. So I will lose a rifle and my loader. Did you lose half or more of the unit? In I one did. Go? Do you have to make an immediate morale test? I do. These are paras. They're These stubborn. are paras. They're stubborn. Oh no! So, tens. Past. That's where I wanted the foobar. <laughs> okay. There. He is still. Yeah. Still hidden. So. Uh, I've activated all of my units, so you can just move. You can just activate your remaining two units. This one and this one, right? Yep. Yeah. So. My. Because your other guys are all just going my down. My squad off the table. of two. Yeah. So the squad of two are going to activate on sevens. Sevens. To shoot back. They do not activate, they, do not. they go down. My anti jet tank gun can't see them because I would be firing through my own troops. The only real option is your mortar team with my anti tank gun. I would hope that when my mortar team came on, it was more than 45 degrees away from that gun. It is. So cool. I, will, I will be firing at the... Uh, mm. you, you've got a one inch gap there. Yep, yes. You can definitely fire at those chaps. So there's hard cover intervening. You've got a pin. So you need to activate, which is a nine, which you fail. <laughs> so they go down. <laughs> now this is where those high rolling dice yep. are really letting yeah. you down there. I, I, need a, I need a pair of black dice. Just <laughs> you need a pair of dice that roll low. All right, chaps. That was the end of round one. But the last thing to decide is whether any of these units want to stay down because that can persist through to next turn and you do get a D3 pins off, but you're going to miss the following turn. So, so you did decide to leave these guys I down did. before moving to round two. So do you want to lose a D3 pins? I see the high rolling. Oh, <laughs> skidoosh, mate. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. Add them to the pile. All right, we'll be back in round two. Here we are in round two and Johnny B has arrived. So Johnny B, do you want to have a quick whiz round the battlefield and show people what's doing? Wow, okay, so this is different. Obviously, I wasn't here at the beginning. I'm going to assume the airborne are defending the middle bit. <laughs> yeah, they're surrounded, man. A few yeah. pins here and there, but not a lot. When you say so, airborne, this is a power on power action. It is power on power. I mean, obviously, the only airborne that matter, the Britishers. The Britishers. The old fashioned Jaeger seem to be creeping up from all sides. Some over here as well, mate. Yeah, let's do So, uh, have you got the bag? Mike. I've got the bag. For All of our off-table units are eligible to come on this time. They're going to have to make orders, tests, and they're at minus one. Yep. Let's do it. Boom. Green. It's a green one. I'm going to reach behind me. If for whatever reason you've skipped ahead to this point and you've missed the poker chips denote units that are still hidden from the start of the game. Now, there's another interesting rule comes on at this point, which is a unit cannot come in from a table edge where an enemy unit has already arrived previously, or the immediately previous table edge. But at the start of each turn, that resets. Yeah. So if Mike brings on a unit over there, I can't bring a unit on over there next. I have to bring it on a different table edge. But you want to bring it on where? Over there? No, they're coming on here, a mm -hmm. rifle squad, and they're going to assault your mean machine gun. So you're going to come Romania. on with a run order. Okie cokey. What are you rolling pass. for? You pass your order test. So tens, so you, minus yep. one is nine. So you line up against the barricade. I can't shoot you because I'm facing the wrong way. We are going to fight simultaneously because we're defending. 
I have. So I've got three men and you've got five. I've got six. This is my rifle. Oh, this is your I... all rifles team. Okie dokie. And you get two kills. And I get... I've rolled one too many dice, which is a real shame. No, that was a good roll. Here we go. I get one kill. I am defeated. When, and when you're defeated in Close Assault, you are destroyed. So you take a dice out of the bag and remove the machine gun team. You have a kill. If you put it to the side. Yeah. Yeah. And then I get to consolidate a D6. D6 inches. A whole four. <laughs> they are just going to jump to this side of the hedge. Okay. Well, I mean, it's all rough going, so. Yeah. Reason being is if at some stage later on the German arrives, we can't be a surprise. Okay. I disagree. British again. British again. Now things are a little bit desperate, so my unit of two people over there. Your unit of two, yep, yeah, are down. They are down. <laughs> so we won't be firing with them. <laughs> so the rifle team. A rifle team. Which is five guys, including a, a Bren, is that right? That's correct. Okay, coffee. And they are going to sneak up and assault your unit from behind. They're going to assault my unit from behind, except that unit ha doesn't have a facing problem. Yeah. So that unit's going to shoot you. But About, you were within six inches, so you get the drop on me. Oh, and I've just dropped a figure. Thank you, John. And also, there is no cover, so I fight first. You do indeed fight first. So you've got five attacks. And you get two kills. Two kills. Which means I've only got three attacks. And I get one kill, and I am eliminated. So you take another dice out of the bag. And I will consolidate two inches to the wall. And that is not your pin. <laughs> that, I'm not having that pin. Yep. All righty. German. It's a German. It's a German. I can't come on on this table edge, but I'm now going to do to Michael what he just did to me. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to bring on my assault rifle team over there. And because you're within six inches of the edge. Yep. But my assault rifles are tough fighters. So we just roll into kill and we get to reroll hits. So we get three hits and then we get no more hits. <laughs> but you're not in cover so you don't get to fight simultaneously. You lose three and then fight back with two. They're all rifles. So which you can't win so you're all dead. But we're going to go but down you're gonna fighting because we're Go down fighting. You kill someone. Ow. And there's a victory dice. Okay. So that's Consolidate. Was Consolidate. One inch. Uh, we'll move towards the hedge a little bit. But we're moving so that we are more than uh, six inches from the edge. Actually, yeah. That's, that's probably more important. It's pretty brutal this coming on from table it edge. It is, yes. And the thing about corners, I realized as you came on, is like, well, you can't cover the other table edge. <laughs> 
Yes. To Bruce then. Americans. British. Oh, British. Oh, British today. You're I was British American today. yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to activate my machine gun and deal with these. Persons. So you're going to activate the machine gun? I do. You do. They lose the pin. Five dice. So I'm going to claim cover because at least half of those units have got hedging between you and them. Half of those models. Yep. And it's long range. So that is threes, fours, fives. Three hits. Oh my days. <laughs> Three kill rolls. In One kill. kill. Is, it is it exceptional? No. No. So I will lose the rifleman. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. The one nearest the NCO. Yeah. Thank you. And I'll take a pin. I'll give you a pin. Thank you very much. And I will put my fire order down. Brutal. British again. Hmm. I'm going to mortar the squad over there. Okay, so see that order test looking for a nine. It's it's good. good. So you mortar them. Lucky six. He's choosing the dice as well. Look at this. Oh, One. Oh, Boo. So we're going to put a red dice on so he knows it's five. this is the target. It's five next time. All right, next draw. British again. This is because you've got ten units to mine eight, you see. Yeah. I've got three units off the table. An SMG group. My command team. And my armoured car. So... You bring on your command team? Yes, I am bringing on my command team. Mm -hmm. And they're just going to pop on here. So they're going to advance on? Yep. Yep. You get to there, and then they're going to shoot your mortar team. Have they got SMGs? That's no. two dice each. They've got rifles. Okay, so that's one dice yep. each. But it is point blank, so plus one a hit. That is one hit. one hit. Roll to kill, five up. No, yeah. but it is a pin. And they've advanced. Uh, British again. Yeah, do you know what? It's a bit of a fix, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Shenanigans at work here, I think. Yes. Shenanigans. I, I learned from Johnny B how to draw dice from a bag without <laughs> looking. <laughs> oh, yeah, you get to the end of the turn and just hand me my four remaining dice. Yes. Yeah. That happened quite a lot, didn't a it? A lot. Yeah. So we've still got quite a bit to be arriving. You've not activated this squad or the ATG, but I assume you're saving the anti-tank gun until uh, yes. the armored car arrives, or you're hoping to. So what we're going to do is we are going to fire with this unit mm -hmm. at that unit over there. At this unit here? Yep. Okay. Some of these might be within 12, they might not. Uh, not really. Uh, no, no, no. No, you fire at this end, can't you? Three of them are win short, including the Bren. So you've got the Bren and the loader. So you've got two rifles at short and one at long. Right. So that's six dice at short and one at long. And I get a bonus dice because you I've do. got three rifles. Yeah. So, so that's the that. count. I'll, I'll use that on the longer guy. Okay. Because he's the furthest one in the back. So. So it's just long range fours so that's an interesting question long range fours how many dice six dice One well hit. I, I was deciding whether i was going to go down oh my apologies <laughs> that's all right you, you, you you've rolled it, yeah. I, I don't want to go back yeah <laughs> um and you got two or five yeah yeah i, 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 I one hit there yeah and you took the advantage you, to, you got one hit so roll to kill no no that was me being too overzealous and allowing you to act. Okay. One for the memory banks. Just done him a favour. Ooh. <laughs> the. <laughs> the last unit that came on was your headquarters over there, which means I can't come on on that table edge. Is that correct? Yes. That is correct. Okay. Oh, so I can come on, however, on that table edge, which is exciting because that's kind of the table edge I want to come on. So I'm going to bring on beep, 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 beep. 
I'm going to bring on, there's no pre-measuring in bolt action. Machine guns have got a 45 degree fire arc of fire. Yes. Well, nine, nine, 45 it's degrees either way. Yes. Nine, yes. yes. A 90 oh, degree arc is 45 meters. I have side. to use an advanced order to turn 90 degrees and that would um, be a modifier to hit if I did. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to bring my command team on over pretty much by you. Uh, in the open. I'm going to bring them on over here because I only need to get within 12 inches of that seeing it, and I reckon, I reckon I can't move on and see you. Yeah, so I'm going to come on by the machine gun. All right, here we go. Command team. They have rolled six. They're good. They're on the table. They're going to move on the six inches that they can. I would like to move them, if possible, along this hedge, edge here, so I'm able to get some kind of defensive cover from the other way, but remaining out of arc of fire of that machine gun, that's not possible, is no, it? No, no. <laughs> the arc of fire of that machine gun is like that. I didn't from my, from sat down over here, I couldn't see that. So yeah, they're gonna need to move on like that. All right, so there are three guys with assault rifles, and are they within six? It looks like they might be. Yes. Yep, so that's point blank twos. Oh, there's a one there. Boo! Five hits, but only killing on fives. Only the one kill. Is it exceptional? So in your, under your system of dice mechanics, would you re-roll this dice? I would normally pick that one up, and then that's, that my, my, in my mentor, I like to roll the successful ones. and take. You re-roll the successful yeah. ones? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if it works. Oh. Yeah! Hey, boom! It's exceptional. Um, with crude weapons like that, if you take out the, the, the weapon operator, the unit is destroyed. Well, there you go. Yeah. I'm, le I'm learning. I'm learning yeah. from a pro. Two for two. This has been a very brutal and lethal game. That was that team over there. And now we need a fresh draw. The idea of re-rolling the successful ones, it's not about like using up luck and so forth. It's about believing that dice might be weighted, isn't it? It's like defective, no, I, I, I think. It's just, I always, if a successful dice, I, I run the chance. Yeah. yeah, you run the chance. Yeah. Okay, I still can't bring a unit on over there because the last enemy unit came on on that table edge, which is troubling me. So I think under this circumstance, I'm going to activate this unit because it's going to get mortared at some point. But I need to roll activation, which I pass on a seven, and I'm going to move up the six inches. These guys are down, so they're minus two to hit, and I'm moving. But I am within six for the point blank, so that's possibly an achievable thing. I'm going to leave these two further back to give me some protection against template weapons. I'm really bad at protecting myself against that. So I've got the MG and a rifle. That's six dice and then two others on different numbers. So it's three moved four down five, six point blank five. Yes. And don't you use the Hitler buzzsaw rule? Which gives me an extra. Yeah, I've got and that's there's five and one. Yeah. The, I mount my uh, LMGs onto, so I never count the loader as a rifleman, and I never lose sight of where the loader is. So these are hitting on fives, and the other two are on sixes. Here we go. Hop. That is one hit, and then this is no more. One hit. Oh, I didn't keep track of which one was the successful one. It wasn't a kill, and that was an advance order. Thank you. I am going to check if I've got within 12 of that because I will have revealed it. No. British. British, yeah. So. Is that still concealed? Or hidden? So I can shoot it at minus four, <laughs> which isn't great. So on the board, we've only got my anti-tank gun at the moment. And your spotter for your mortar. 
Yes, but I've already fired my mortar. Yeah, okay. Um, is that a dice of a kill? That's the die oh, so you just drawn. I was thinking, yeah. So you're either going to fire the anti tank gun or move it. I'm going to bring my forward observer on. The last table edge I came on was that one. This one. So you're okay? So he's that now does open up this table edge for me. It does, so... <laughs> I'm just, I don't want a gotcha, <laughs> but you know what's happened here a yes. few times. If you don't come on over here, then I can. Yeah. And I've got an SMG five-man yes. team off the table. Yeah. So, my forward observer... <laughs> oh, right. He's come on. Yeah. With an advance order. Yeah. All righty. Uh, so, he's there, yeah. Right. German! German. Have I got anything on it? My mortar. My mortar. Then off the table. Ooh, my mortar. That's the only two options. Well, three options. SMG team, mortar, or armoured car. SMG team, mortar, armoured car. An SMG team over here is largely useless to me. I think I want to activate my mortar. Hop, which I do activate, so I lose the pin. I think I need to run the hell away, so I'm going to make a 12-inch move around here, so I don't lose my mortar. Uh... No, I want to make a six inch move in here. Because right. I just had a team that got charged from off the table edge. <laughs> I was like, stay away from the table edge. Uh, so on. that's then they've, they've done an, uh, a six inch move. Me again. Well, there's nobody on the table, so I've got to roll for off table. I can't come on on this table edge is the one I want. So I'm going to roll to bring on the SDKFZ 222 armoured car. Now it is an army armoured car. It's here. It's not uh, um, Luftwaffe. So it's only on a nine. But it's come on. Now then. Where do you think I'd like to bring it on? I'd bring it on this edge because it's behind my anti tank. Yeah, either of those two. I think I want to bring it in here and drive it up right behind your anti tank gun. Cross country. Yes. Yep. Cross country check. <laughs> now I can't get over any of these linear obstacles, but from that corner I can see almost everywhere on the board. So I'm going to drive it. I have to advance anyway, so I'm going to drive it on up to the hedge so there's no cover in the way. Me me. And I want to be 180 degrees behind your tank, behind your anti tank gun, facing. <laughs> Front on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Gamey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, well, I'm, that's what I was going to kill me. Right, so do I fire the little cannon or do I fire the machine gun? Either way, there's cover from the cows. So <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be a lot messier in the cow situation if I fire the machine gun. Hamburger time. <laughs> Rather than just the one clean split in half if I fire an anti tank round through it. I think if I hit with the anti-tank gun, it's going to kill something. But I think I will hit if I fire the machine gun. And it's a, it's, it's a Nazi machine gun. It's got five dice. Five dice. and it's So it's going to put a pin on you for sure. I'm going to machine gun you. I'm going to coward it. So it's six dice. A medium machine gun with Hitler's buzz swords. A six dice attack. And it's going to hit you on threes up to fours because I moved. Okay? Yep. That is beautiful. Five hits. So we get a pin, which was great. And then we're rolling for kills, which is five up. No, they're not paratroopers. Is it veteran? They are veterans. Uh, there's only the one kill. Wow. Only the one kill. This is where I've been creative when I've made my models and built my models. Oh, look. Yeah, look. Boom! But they do get an extra pin. Don't forget about that. They got that second pin. pin. 
because I'm thinking the pin, I wanted the guaranteed pin because it's minus one to hit, where, again, when you do shoot. British. A British air. It's yeah. a British air. Reserve P18. P I'm just going to remind you, if you don't come on this table edge, I've still got a unit off the table with SMGs. However, I've got a Piat that can come on on this table edge. Yes. And advance and take out your Puba. Well, it can try and hit, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's going to come in the same field as the... <laughs> yep. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> just. Okay, so your Piat team comes on. Not the next field along. <laughs> Sideline coaching. <laughs> <I've got laughs> Johnny, B, Johnny B has spoken. I've got to save the British advance. <laughs> the radios are working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so your peer is, the range of peer is probably 12, it right? It is 12, yes. Yeah, so it's long range, it's moved, and it's soft cover. It's the big it's six a moment. Charge, that doesn't affect the hit roll. That affects the penetration. Boom! <laughs> Boom, sir. Yep. That affects the penetration. Oh. Oh! If I'd have fallen for your shape charge black there, I'd have been a hit. You'd be whooping. Damn it. Let me just double check that. Moved long. It is over six inches. You did move, and there is a hedge between you and me, right? Yes. Yeah. Because shape charge and yeah. side armor, that probably was going to blow up if you rolled yeah. that six. <laughs> Is it me? It's now the time for these guys to come on and do some damage. Yep. So they're going to come on and they're going to bust up these chaps here. <laughs> but I don't know whether we should fight them or just straight up shoot them. So I've got my remaining units come on. I'm still not 100% sure whether what I'm going to do with them. But, so rather than worry about that, let me just see if I get at least a nine, <laughs> shall I? Uh, yes, they are coming on. So this is a five-man SMG team. Charging those guys. They're not going to fight back. I am going to fight first. That's also true, isn't it? I'm gonna fight first, and I'm gonna kill some of them, and I'm tough fight. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. So these guys are coming on, assaulting straight into that team there. Do you wanna put those on, John? And I'll get my five dice for my tough fighters. Because killing, I'm gonna kill Paras on a five. Ooh. Here we go. Hop! Well, we get two, and so we get to re-roll two dice. Using the uh, Woolly Mike system of yep. re-rolling the successful ones. Ha! We kill three, so only one chap fights back. Is that right? Yep. Did you have four left? That's correct. Yeah. And the fight back doesn't kill anybody. He's not a killer. And I will consolidate three inches. So we'll just... That's going to get us into there. In most cases. Crush the pigs. Capture the pigs. Eat the pigs. Pigs don't go moo though, do they? Uh, they can do. Can they? Can they under, under certain circumstances. Yeah. So that was. Was that the final die? No, there was one more. Is it a filthy Britisher one? It is a filthy British six pounder gun. The last dice in the bag is yeah. my British six pounder. Looking for an eight. Beauty. Good. I'll take the pin away. Very nice. And because of your puma, I'm gonna. Rotate on the spot a run move of 180 degrees. I think that's the right decision. Yes. Because oh, I don't think I can get out of your arc now because of the position of the hedgerows. Yes. And that is the end of round two. Boom! Boom. Round three, uh, we're in there. It's a tense round. Nobody stayed down. Nope. Everybody's on the table. Actually, everybody is on the table, right? Yes. Nobody failed. Well, except the five dead units Oops. from round two. Uh, we've still got a hidden unit over here. And, and early dice draws are going to be quite yes. important, right? Yes. Here we go. Boom, boom. Is it me? No. Is it you? It's me. I'm going to activate my six pounder. I don't think you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should do that because I don't want you to do that. No, because it's not part of the rules. What did you say? Hardcover for the beef? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, Looking activating my six pounder that you're not too keen on me activating. Easily passed. Easily passed. No hit penalty. Now, at this point, I can make a recce move. And if it was possible for me to move that vehicle in such a way as I get out of line of sight of the anti-tank gun, 
I can make that move. However, I don't think that that's possible because that's rough going over there and there's a hedge over there. So I don't think it's possible with my limits on moves and move distances to get out of the 45 degree arc that's going to run down there. Some part of my vehicle, you know, I'm thinking I might be able to get there, but it, it's not like flames or I can just pick that up 12 inches and face it however I want. There's a limited number of turns and moves. I can't see how I can move that and not still be facing this. What do you reckon, John? I think you're correct. But doesn't the Puma have reverse driving positions? It does. Uh, I think that means it can move at full I range. can move at full speed in reverse, yes, I think. So yeah, <laughs> but I don't have anywhere to reverse yes. to because I can't travel in that, that rough going and I can't break up through any of these obstacles, so I'm kind of stuck. And also, you can't get more than half range away. No. So I'm just going to have to take it in the face. Oh. I think that's a cock dice. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I don't want it to be a cock <laughs> dice. Yeah. Oh. See, sometimes when you get the when you, when you yes. agree to a reroll like that, you feel you're going to be punished. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Beauty. The, the power of size. And the great thing about bolt action is now I have a degree of comfort that I'm not about to get hammered. But you've still got a Piat team. I do still have a Piat team, but <laughs> and the Piat team. Uh, is about to die because I'm going to activate the assault rifle team. I don't know whether you're within six inches. Of one? Of one of them. At least. Because if, if I am, I get the drop on you. If not, you shoot me with a pit and you can possibly kill somebody. <laughs> uh, do I? Or oh, don't I? I activate the assault rifle team, yep. Yeah. On a 10, they fail and they go down because they have a pin. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> and you know, a lot of people say, oh, statistically that never happens, saying, don't play dice games if you don't want results like that. Yes, there is a history of dice games and. Don't play dice games yes. if you can't cope with rolling a 10 for a morale check. Right. Next unit, well, there's not much I can do with an armoured car. Do I blow this unit up before it kills me? I think what I'm going to do is... P18, 12 inches. P18, 12 inches. I'm going to move the armoured car with an advance. I'm going to turn, move, turn into this corner. No, no, no. From the angle I was at, I'm going to turn. Because you have to drive in a straight line. I'm going to drive and then I'm going to turn. Yeah? So I'm playing games of Flames of War and stuff, you can move however yes. you want. But this is a much smaller scale game. Oh, no, no, I'm not shooting them. Uh, I'm not shooting them with my machine gun to put a pin on them. After much deliberation, I've got to fire at those guys because they can still move up and take a shot at me. So it is going to be... Uh, moved and cover fives. Small are you electing team. to go down? Small team sixes, are you going down? No, because I want to be able to take your poo up. No sixes. Forgot the small team penalty. Boo! But I remembered that these guys had a gun shield, so I probably wasn't going to take them up with them MG. Is that me again? German again. Okay, so uh, well, I'm going to bring some of my dead units on the table and assault the Piat team. Well, I'm not allowed to do that, right? Yes, your necromancy roll failed. My necromancy roll has failed. Uh, ooh, cheeky. All right, the mortar is going to bring fire down on the on the anti tank gun. There we go. Lucky six. Lucky six. Hop. Beauty. It was a six behind the bag. <laughs> Hmm. And there was not a piece of fluff in any distance that I could call it cock down. Penetration plus two, so it's killing on a three against paras. The gunner? Oh, no, no, you just select the casualties. That's a pair of kills. Boom! <laughs> yes! Oh! Did you see that, John? I did. Oh! That's it. Paras turn. It's when you put it in the middle, I think you're giving it to I me. Know, I know, I just... Get your excitement up. 
You get me all fizzy, sir. Yeah. So they can move up to six inches and still take the shot. Which they but do. hopefully I am over 12 inches. I meant to check the book now to double check the pit range of the Piat. 12 inches. Might. Well, it might be more was what I was worried about because Piat, it is 12. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to penalize you yeah, no. unnecessarily. A reasonably available online army generator tells me. Oh, yeah, I'm... easy army, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you've just got moved in long range, which is fives. Yeah. Green dice are letting me down, John. Mm. Got to blow on them first. So I know that there is. Um, you put you put in vinegar, don't you? Uh, yeah. That's if you're really oh, serious oh, about yeah, your yeah. cheating. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's no there's no cover involved in that because he's up against the, the 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 boundary. So we tend to say that as people can see over it. So what are you going for now? You've got this unit of two dudes still there. This five man unit. You've still got your forward observer who's got a battery of six inch howitzers on, on the phone. How he's got a phone with him, I've no idea. <laughs> he's yeah. running a cable off table. He's going to be a bit later on. I'm going to use the mortar. The mortar? Okay. Onto your machine gun unit over there. Onto this unit here? Yes. Okay. So they can see it directly themselves. They don't need to worry yeah. about the spotter. Indirect fire, lucky six. I mean, if it works for me, it works for you, right? It does. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm just going to get the... <laughs> You're doing the voodoo? I did the voodoo that you do so well. You did the voodoo! Oh! oh. It's a five, and if I hadn't moved them, they would have still been in, in position. You German. do the voodoo. Well, now you've talked about what's going on here, and you're threatening to mortar me and stuff. I'm gonna have to assault these guys. I'm within six inches, so we get the drop. We're five paratroopers, but no SMGs. Hop! Two kills. We're good. And then I will consolidate two inches to be more than six inches from someone doing it to me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there's, there's so much assaulting going on here. Six inches here. Yeah, here and here. Okay. Um, and then we got to move another three, didn't we? To consolidate, so. I will take this. You've spotted my spotter. Have I spotted your spotter? Yes. Well, that's worth knowing because we can't. There's a lot of things about spotter that are not worth doing, but assaulting him is pretty reliable. <laughs> German! Oh! It's a German, it's a German. What have I got left? Infantry here? Yeah. Infantry. No, 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 they're, they're Falschimjäger, they're Luftwaffe, not here. No. At this, at this location, you have some Falschimjäger. <laughs> at that location? At that location, hmm? you have some Falschimjäger. So I will advance the headquarters team towards the wall. They've not got any pins. Can they get against the wall? They have nine inches to go to the wall, so they can run. So no. Then they will move the six, and then they will take the shot across here, which is presumably more than nine. Yep, so it's long range. So I've got my six assault rifles, and we've got hard cover, and long is sixes. I'm not paying the movement penalty because they're assault weapons. Here we go. Just double check that it's moved and long. There's no other factors. Uh, sorry, hard cover. Yeah, there's there's not moved. There's hard cover is two, long is another yeah. one. That's it, right? Yes. yes. So it is sixes. So it's yeah. not a small team. So that is three hits. Yep. Ouchie. Gonna use the woolly mic system. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the pin on because you're not gonna kill all three of them. Reroll the lucky ones. You uh, do. Uh, that looks like they're dead. <laughs> I think I killed the lucky ones. Yeah. Wow. Shame. Matt, I've got to say, this, this system of yours, it's working for me. <laughs> it's working for me. <sighs> Boom. That was, that was my command team. That's it the was. team that's supposed to hide at the back and just leave me a dice in the bag, right? I mean, on the plus side, your forward observer has now gained the height advantage. <laughs> <laughs> From all the dice that he's piled yeah. up on. Bodies of his compatriots. British. Anyone that thinks bolt action is not a dice game needs to watch this. Because <laughs> luck has made a huge part of it. 
Well, it's, it's time to mention Sean and um, down in Southampton, and he'll be watching this. Your, your, uh, your life my, partner. I'm yeah. sorry, your gaming partner. My, my buddy. Um, he will be loving my bad dice rolls. Does he? He will do, yes. Does he... You think he'll be happier if, in watching videos of you coming here, you lose? You yes. think he, that would please him more? Yes. Right. Losing... He's not rooting for you, he's rooting... L losing and bad dice rolls is all of the, the rage. Right. So, I just have my command team and my body of five men there. And your forward observer. Yeah. I am going to do my forward observer... So you can see through this forest because he's in it. So there's pretty much anywhere on the board. And you're going to put a point down. So we can go back to using that poker chip. And you put this where you want the centre of the bombardment to be. As long as you can draw a line of sight to it. And you can draw a line of sight to that position there. So that's his order dice, not to be confused. That's his order, all right. Uh, yeah. Might get tricky, though. I'll just, put him, I'll just put him there. Yeah. Okay. And that happens at the beginning of next round, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you, John. Not many dice left in the bag. German! I'm going to shoot your HQ. We're not going yep. to assault it, we're going to shoot it. Because I can do an advance with my SMGs and still, so I can get myself into nice hard cover. And Step on the pig list. You're going to go down. Yep. So I've got ten dice here, because I've got five SMGs. Trying two dice. At point blank range. So it's threes, point blank, two, down four. So we'll remove the dead ones. So that is a pin and five hits. Whoops. And that is two kills. Yeah, that's another team. Oh, boosh. Hold them till relieved, but we're going to be relieved. <laughs> Some of the troops may be relieving themselves through the back end. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of fear. In the excitement, I thought I thought, I thought it was the end of round. But you still got a unit to do, haven't you, sir? I have that unit that's just sat there watching their buddies die on the other side of the well, crossroad. They're covering. They're like, well, we've got our section yeah, of the crossroad. Yeah. This area yeah. is completely. Don't, don't clean. turn around, boys. Don't turn around. <laughs> don't look behind you. Yeah. So, don't Bren gun and three men with rifles gives me the bonus rifle shooting mm. at this unit here. Yep. Yeah. So it's over six, but it's under twelve. So it's all just. I think we agreed the sandbags That's on the end was hard cover. We agreed sandbags was hard cover because they have been. So it's just fives then. That's two hits, and we get a pin because you've made a hit. And we don't lose a guy. Ooh, those dice are failing me. They, they served you so well in that Flames of War game, right? Yes. And the bolt action practice game and we the had bolt on action Friday. Pra practice game you crushed me in the practice <laughs> game i was really nervous about this one uh and that is the end of turn three so round four I'm getting desperate for my brits it, it's pretty great but the radio message is gone mm. through hopefully so we're going to run the artillery barrage chat i can tell you that four plus is what you're looking for i'm here. looking for a four plus and i've even i've Gone through the dice. Don't roll a one. <laughs> oh, what a ball tampering going on ball here. Is, yes, yes. Some ball tampering. Do you want to check for Vaseline or anything? <laughs> you know, foreign I don't want to know if there's any <laughs> smeary, oily subject on that dice. So, uh, fire for effect. effect. So now, you're going to roll to see what the effect is. And basically the effect... Is it D6 plus 6 inch... Is written here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for another chart. I'm thinking there's another chart, but it's just written in text the, the here. The chart is inside the right. chart. Roll a dice um, around the ailing point, blasting point, blast the enemy to smithereens. Right. Roll a dice for each unit, friend, and enemy within a D6 plus 6 of the aiming point. So, how oh, wide an area? Oh. 12 inches of the aim that's point. All of the Germans. Oh, that section over there. Bing, bing, bing. Bing. This could be a game changer. <laughs> this could be a game changer. So now you're going to roll d6 for each of those units. On a 1 to 5, they take d3 pins. On a 6, they get hit with a heavy howitzer for real. Okay, d, uh, roll 1 to 5. The pigs with some associate people. Okay, d3 pins, and there's a lot of pigs. This is why we have so Three. many pin markers, by the way. 
Um, they do have numbers on, but we use individual markers so you can see them on the camera. The mortar team oh! is fire for effect. <laughs> Sploosh! Basically, you've hit everybody in that unit. You're going to kill them on a two. Dead. Yep, unit deleted. What's on the bag? <sighs> Next unit. <laughs> Oh, and you notice I did change dice there just for okay. So three guys killed on twos. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> oh my days! <laughs> and then the puma. Six. Ooh. No, but D three pins. Oh. Three <laughs> pins on the puma. Ball tampering. Just chicken. Just chicken. Just right. Just chicken. Well, that changed things a little bit, didn't it? <laughs> so, I believe it turned full proper. <laughs> All right. It's like, oh, I'm ready now. After half time. <laughs> so, you threw nine dice there and got four sixes. Yes. Five sixes. Five sixes, yes. <laughs> Statistics. They're your dice, yeah. man. <laughs> They're green. They've woken up. Those green dice are filthy. Yeah. yeah. They're guest dice now. We're going green. Going green. We're going to carry on and run a lock with the Piat team. It's got to be done. It has to be done. It has. So, if I stay stationary at the moment, it's just going to be freeze. It's My just going to be forced for board. range. Yeah. So... No point in going forward. Nothing to activate. That oh, would be a one. That's, I picked up the wrong dice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you've used up all the sixes in your yeah. dice pool for the rest of the game. Uh, but that is the nature of the artillery bombardment, right? That, that's what happens. On sometimes. that point, the forward observer only gets used once. Does he now disappear? No, he's still he's around. Still he's still a dice in the bag. He's still an idiot with a pistol. So it's you again. I mean, he's also a victory point for me if I kill him. Yeah. So you might want to run him away. Yes, yeah, so I was just thinking that. He's going to... Do nothing. Oh, no, he can. Of course he can. <laughs> run away! He's going to run away and find a... He's going down a hobbit hole. I think he's going to disappear somewhere in that region. What, he's going to move six or is yeah. he going to go down? He's going to move six back here? Yeah, getting yeah. much, much cover and... Try and get some cover and some distance. All yeah. right. He's over here. So, if the camera can't see him, he can't be hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Jim Bizzle can move the camera. Yeah. So, statistically now, should it should be and is. And do I have a unit that I can activate? Uh, I think this unit can activate. I think this unit should activate while it's still got some, potentially some fight in it. I think what we need to do is we need to deal with that Piat team rather urgently. So, we're going to activate the assault rifle team. Here we go. And an eight, they do activate. They are two, they can't run through that rough going. So they are gonna move six inches and razz up those guys. So I've got to within point blank. So I'm gonna hit you on threes, point blank, twos, cover threes. Okay, Small yep. Small team, thank you. Thank I always you. forget that one. Fours, here we go, hop. That is. Two hits. So there's a pin there. And there is one kill. That's 50% of the unit. Yep. But you're stubborn, stubborn. So tens, you're good. That was my activation. Yep. I'm going to try and rally the armored car. I don't know what I'm rolling dice for. That's the number of pins I lose, isn't it? When yeah, I you've got to roll. I've got to make a leadership test. Yeah. And if I pass it, I get D6 plus one. And if I fail it, I get D6. I fail, so I just get D6, which is two. And that was the rally order. What did I do with the dice? I've got it here, right and here. I'm just putting it onto... So I will activate my 
remaining viable fighting unit. And they're four Brens. Four Brens? Four, four dice, four Brens, three rifles plus a bonus rifle. They're going to shoot at your guys. Okay, so it's hard cover, which takes you to five. So I'm going to go down, putting it onto sevens. But enough. Guaranteed to draw out a German die. <laughs> oh, four fives, but no sixes. No sixes. Okay. So is it just the one left? Is that right? Yep. Yep, so these guys are going to try and activate. So they're on 10 minus 3 is 7. They activate, lose a pin. And they are going to move 6 inches along here, if you don't mind. So that's going to get the front one to there. And everybody else in line behind. And we are probably not... When I, well, even if they're within 6, it's only 1. So it's for a submachine gun, it's long range, cover moved not moved but a pair of pins so it's sevens so i'll take my I've still got five guys there yeah five guys obsessed with burgers um two pins cover and long yeah it is sevens possible possible no and that is the end of turn four Here we go, round five. Uh, Johnny B, can you give us a bit of a close-up, see us and review where we're up to? Oh my, this is one of the <laughs> most brutal games I've witnessed. Uh, obviously, <laughs> saw that bombardment come down. That did change the scores. We are now on four, but it's, well, it's a tough fight for the Brits to get back I in. I just noticed the, pig, the pigs have suffered badly. The pigs have suffered. They, they were under the bombardment. Badly. They were, yes. <laughs> um, can Woolly Mike bring it back with the first dice draws? <laughs> we shall see. And a 50% six is rolled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never for the PR, always for everything else. Yep. So, all right, first dice to the bag then. For Let's round five. For round five. Is it me? It is German. Well, I think I better assault that PR team before it takes out my Puma. Um, have I got no pins You've now? You've got no pins. So and I've got the drop on you. No, there's a hedge in the way. You don't, I mean, I'm within six inches, so you yes. don't get return fire. Yes. Yeah, there isn't a hedge in the way because I have enough movement to cross it. Okay, I forgot about that one. Yeah, he's, he's still, he's <laughs> I still, don't have to go that way. He's still winding up the spring on the pin at launcher. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> e, e, e. Right. I think you wind it up anyway. It's just a massive great I reckon it's got one of them, you know, like on a tin of pelchards. Yes. <laughs> it's got one of them. Oh, no, it's not the one that snapped off, is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It is spring loaded though, isn't yeah. it? It's proper like rubber band yeah. technology, man. That's the shoulder butt. That looks like a turkey. Right, um, so <laughs> we are we are tough fighters, but there's only three of us, so we're looking for fives to kill. Hop! Oh ho ho ho! <laughs> that is really grim. Okay, Pit is gonna kill you. No! No! Go again. We go again. I was getting really nipped. There we go. No. Oh, yes, it is simultaneous. It is simultaneous because you came over the hedge. I gave you the option. If you'd have stayed on the hedge, it would have been simultaneous. Ah, no. No, it's because it's the second round. It's then simultaneous. It, yeah. Dead. <laughs> yeah. Boss out the bag. There we go. Well, hopefully that's that's made things a little bit better for me. I mean, you've still got your forward observer, but they're not taking calls at Battery yes. HQ anymore. The number you have dialed has not been recognised. <laughs> so, what happens here? Is Only the armoured car. The rest of us are passing me again. Yeah. I'm going to do this, and because I've called a black dice, I'm going to put it back in the bag and say, Congratulations you for Frank the game! <laughs> So if you like bolt action, you're looking to start the system or start a new army, on our website modelingforadvantage.co.uk we have a range of the starter sets as well as a few of the starter armies. Do consider buying from us as a way of supporting the channel. Thank you for watching.